All right, if you struggle with knee pain, you struggle with shin splints, or you want to maintain your longevity of something like running, then this is going to be a really good one at trying to balance out, protect those joints, and make sure these muscles are really working as they should. Muscles like the tibia that we're pointing to here tend to be really unbalanced, imbalanced with our calves and other muscles around the feet, and it's a really nice way of getting these muscles working again. So the first one with a dumbbell is simply getting that contraction in the front, trying to really create a little bit more movement, a little bit more length through that muscle, as well as actually building that up because uh, it tends to be much uh, or a lot more overpowered by the calf than it really should be so building up some strength there is a really great place to start second one is another variation of that uh, which can be an add-on the first one I, I tend to like a bit more but this allows you to get a little bit more range point those toes get a little more stretched through the front as well okay so really really nice sequence into what we're going to do next but simply getting those muscles working a bit more once we're finished with that we're going to turn around and we're going to do a standard calf raise here, trying to make sure that we keep that upper leg fully straight, lock the knee so quads stay fully contracted, and we're trying to make sure that we get full length in the calf. So we're going to go right down, get the stretch there, and then we're going to make sure that we're holding at least one to two seconds there at the top. You're really trying to make sure we squeeze and we can really pull that calf up the back of our leg. Okay, it's not just pointing our toes, it's trying to make sure you can really feel that calf contract and get that full squeeze at the top. 